Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am very excited to be back at the biz today. I am super excited. I'm ready to go in. I gave my little brother and my older sister the rundown on the way here. So here's Rachel and here's Hello. Jason. They're here. They're going to go in with me. I think they're going to check out the home goods, and they're also going to help me look for some things to resell on Poshmark from the clothing side as well. So we're very excited to go in. I don't think, have you guys been to a bins before? Nope. Nope. No. So they are in for a treat today and we're going to take them in with us. We're going to take you as well. And we're going to see what we can find. We have our Starbucks with us and we are ready to go. So final sip and we are going in. Woo! Okay guys, so we are in line to go in through the next round and I actually found a subscriber! Hey! <laughs> so she's also a part-time reseller. Your name is Tash Tashana? Tashana? Yes. Okay, good. So this is Tashana. Look how cute she is, guys. <laughs> I love her hair. But I just found her in line and we're about to go in and look through stuff and maybe we'll consult each other and say, hey, is this cute? <laughs> we're all about it. So we're gonna get back in line, but I want to say hi, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any, what's your Poshmark closet name? Um, oh geez, my Poshmark is uh, Pix Pistachios. Pix Pistachios, yes. okay. I'll write it down, I'll put it in the description. So if you guys wanna go follow her, you should. Yeah. But yeah, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay guys, we are back home and I have so many things to show you today. I'm gonna show you everything I got at the bins with my sister and little brother. It was a really okay trip. I didn't find a lot of really cool modern brands like I normally do there. But I did want to kind of branch out into trying some new kinds of pieces. So I picked up some blankets and some other like quilted things like that. And so I'll show you everything that I got. I spent $50 and I have tons of things here to show you. I have a huge bag down here you can't even see. So without further ado, let's jump into showing you guys everything that I got at the Goodwill outlet for $1.49 per pound. So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys two different blankets that I got. The first one I just picked up because I thought it was so freaking cute. I'm not sure, would you classify this as a blanket or as a wall hanging? I'm not sure, but I thought it was super cute. It's pretty large, I would guess it's like probably five by four or so, three by five, but it's got all these little bird houses and the cutest little sunflowers and a fringe around the edges. I just thought this was absolutely adorable and I picked that up. I maybe spent like maybe a dollar or two for it. So I thought that that was definitely worth it. And then I picked up a very similar blanket to that one in that it's also one with a fringe, but it has these really cool horses running across it. And it's a, like a very Western type blanket. It reminds me almost of a horse blanket. Like that's the feel of this. It's like either a tapestry or like a like kind of like more outdoorsy blanket. But I thought this was really cool with all the little Aztec-y, kind of more like Southwest touches to it. So I thought that this was super cool. And I've been watching a lot of YouTubers on Instagram. I'm thinking of the five resellers um, off the top of my head and they've been picking up lots and lots of blankets And so I was like, I wonder if that is worth it or if I should try it So for in the bins, I thought I would give it a whirl. So those are the first two blankets And then I picked up this really cute little quilted runner I know quilting is super in right now, but I thought that this was absolutely sweet I love it. It's very cottage cords very grandma -y vibes and I just think that somebody made this by hand. It looks so cute and I love the color scheme. 
So this was super duper light. I maybe paid like 25 cents, maybe 50 cents, probably 25 cents for this. So I thought it'd be worth picking up to try. And I was really looking for like quilts while I was in the bins this time because quilts are really popular right now and they are kind of expensive. But I thought that I would pick this up because this is the only quilted like kind of thing I found. And I thought it was really sweet and it's in great condition. So I was very excited to pick this up. And as always, I'll be putting the comps up on the screen for how much I think I will be selling these pieces for. This is a new area for me. So I really have no idea how much I'm gonna be selling these pieces for. I'll have to do some comps probably on eBay because that's probably where I'll try to sell them through. But I really liked this. I thought it was definitely worth picking up. So next up, we have a piece of clothing and it is this little vintage cherry dress. It is by the brand RJ Stevens by Carol Escritor. And it is in a size 10, a vintage size 10. Look at that tag there. But I thought it was a really cute cut dress. And then at the bottom of the dress, it has these cute little straw hats all the way around and they have cherries on them as well. So it's just like a very cute cherry dress and it has ties at the back. So I picked this up because I just thought it was very cottage quarry again, but also just like a really sweet dress. So I loved that one. And then the next piece of clothing I picked up was this J. Crew sweater. And this is in a size small, but it's just like this little turtleneck sweater in this beautiful kind of burgundy wine color. And I picked this up because it felt so soft. And this is a mixture of merino wool and alpaca. And alpaca is a very expensive fabric. So I was super excited to find this in the bins. I paid maybe a dollar or two for it. And I know I found something very similar to this, um, but a men's piece the other day. And the comps looked really good for that. So I thought I would pick this one up as well. And again, for like a dollar is a no brainer. <laughs> and then I found this really cool vintage Land's End coat. I thought this was super cool. I love the little like faux sheepskin poking up of the top. I love the color scheme of this. I thought it was super duper cool. And this is in a size extra large, 46, 48. I love the big circle pull for the front. The zipper is in great condition. I just did a terrible job of unzipping it. And then it's covered on the inside with that same sheepskin looking stuff. But I just thought this was a super cool piece. And again, this kind of style is super popular right now. So I picked that up for maybe two or three bucks. And then the next thing I picked up was this Lauren Ralph Lauren little flannel shirt. And this isn't a size large, but I just, I love picking up Lauren Ralph Lauren or just Ralph Lauren in general from the bins. And I just thought this was a really nice little flannel if you can tell, it has a lot of reds, greens, and yellows running through it. And I just thought it was a really nice piece. So I picked this up. It's super light. I maybe paid a dollar for it, but I just thought that this was in great condition and I love picking up this particular brand. It does sell well for me. So I snagged her and then I found this super funky blazer. I just thought it was so cool. I love the very, I feel like this is very 80s, maybe 90s to me. Just like all of this funky patterning, I think more 80s. It is so cool. This is by the brand Just Dawn and it's in a size medium. But here is the tag for you. I just thought it was a super, like super interesting, super weird piece. It has shoulder pads. It is like a long line blazer. I think it's really sweet. I think that I will definitely find a buyer for this because this pattern, anything that feels more vintage has been selling really well for me. So I picked this up for a dollar or two and hopefully again, we will make a profit on that. And then the next thing that I picked up is actually a sheet set. I found the flat sheet of this and a pillowcase and I didn't see the other things. And then my sister came up with the fitted sheet and I was very excited because I found this vintage Garfield sheet set, which I just thought was super cool. Um, but it has Garfield sleeping on a pillow on the little pillowcase. And this says Garfield characters 1978. So it has a date on it, which is wonderful. I can date it at least a little bit. So I also have a fitted sheet and a flat sheet here. And they're just this really cute patterning of stripes, but then also it is Garfield laying on a pile of pillows. So 
so I just think this is absolutely adorable I'm pretty sure this is a twin size I'll have to double check and make sure so for Garfield and then for vintage I just thought this was a super cool pickup I was really excited to find all these pieces I think it's very interesting so I picked these all up I maybe spent like maybe three five dollars on this but I know that Garfield sells well so I'm excited to see how much this will go for and you guys will see the comps up on the screen for it then the next blanket I picked up was this really cute little crochet blanket this one is big this is like um almost a queen size it's more like maybe it's a twin or like a full size crochet blanket it's very soft and then it has all these nice pinks and greens going through it I think it's really cute I think crocheting is really admirable when people do it. I cannot knit, I cannot crochet, but I think that it's super cool and crochet is very big right now. So I did pick that up and that one's a little heavier. I probably paid three or $4, but for a nice sturdy blanket like that, again, if I put it up on eBay, I'll have to look up the comps for you guys, but it should sell well, it should. Let's go on to the next piece, which my sister actually found for me. And this is another moth sweater. I've had such good luck finding moth in these bins, but this one has a flaw on it. It isn't a size medium. It's this really beautiful, kind of like lime green color. It's a nice length and it has like a cute little rounded sleeve, but it is very nice. It's a little bit of an open weave texture. There is a little stain. Let me just see if I can find it. There's a little stain and pull right in the center of the sweater right there <laughs> but I think I can get the stain out and I think I can maybe fix that pole so it doesn't look so obvious but I just thought this was a super beautiful sweater I think it's super cute and I do really well reselling moth so even if I can't get the stain out and this is a loss I thought it'd be worth a try because it is such a nice piece. It's very cute. I like the coloring. I think somebody else is gonna really like it too. So the next piece of clothing that I picked up from the bins was this super duper cute pair of little Ugg booties for a little baby. I literally could not leave them there. I have no idea if these will resell. I don't care. I think they're so freaking adorable. They have a little Velcro number to get you in and out of a little booty. Like how cute those I just think they're so darling let me try to find a size on this so I don't see a size on these anywhere which is kind of unfortunate um but I do think that they're so so cute still I wonder even if I took these into like a once upon a child or some sort of buy sell trade place that does kids clothing if they would accept them so they are so freaking cute I just think that they are so adorable like look how little they are compared to my face I just think they're so cute so I picked those up and I'm not sure especially not knowing the size, how much I can resell them for. But I thought that I would pick them up because I love picking up Uggs in general anyway. So I thought they would be worth a chance. And then this next pair of pants that I picked up is a pair of vintage Dickies. So I've never sold Dickies, but I thought that these were a really cool, like little straight leg. It's a very thick denim. And then the inside is like flannel lined, which I thought was very interesting. So I thought these were in pretty good shape. And they have like some distressing at the bottom of the pant, which is really cool. Very on trend right now. And this is in a size 38 by 30. I picked these up in a 38 by 30. I thought they were super cool. They're high rise, they're a nice wash. They are a straight leg, which is really popular right now. So I thought I would give those a try because I am learning to try and sell more and more denim. It does sell well. It's just like not my favorite thing to sell, but that's okay. And then I found this little Disney piece. It's in a size extra large. It's not vintage. It's just like a more contemporary piece, but I still thought I would pick it up. It has a ringer style at the top and it just has blue around the sleeves as well. But I just thought it was a very a nice piece. It looks like... I don't know if it's a women's extra large or a men's extra large, but I did think that it was a pretty cute piece. So I picked it up for less than a dollar. So I still definitely thought that was worth it. And then I found this piece, which is a vintage, I think a sleep dress, a, a vintage little nighty, And it has all these cute little angels on it. It's a long sleeve and they are like holding all these flowers. And then it says sweet dreams. I thought this was adorable. I think this would look really cute even if you chopped it and made it a crop top. I think that it's very trendy too right now. This is a one size product, but I would say it fits, it looks like it would fit like, like an extra large. So I will probably list it as that is my guess. I'll try it on and see, but I thought it was super duper cute. And there are also angels going all the way down the back. It's the same print on the front and the back. 
I thought it's super duper sweet so I bought that for like a dollar or two at the most so next I picked up this piece I don't know the brand at all it's by American Bazi Bazi B-A-Z-I but it's this black denim long coat like a black denim jacket that it's a long one and then on the back it has these super cool like 3d elements they're patches it says the fashion tour paris new york london and it has all these just super cool cities on the back i thought it was a very interesting piece and it does have a tie as well so i thought i'd pick it up i don't know what the comps look like for this again i was going super fast so i don't know exactly how much that will resell for but i will put that on the screen for you and then i found this little michael michael kors top so i have sold a couple michael kors pieces i don't sell a ton of them mostly because at my goodwill they always mark them up so if I find them in the bins, I'll pick them up. But it's this really nice little blouse. And then it also has some ruching here at the bottom, kind of just to like tie it together. It has a little cinching right there. So the sleeve kind of hangs down a little bit unevenly right there. Um, but this is in a size 1X and it is by Michael, Michael Kors. So I picked this up. I think it's a really nice blouse. It's in a really cool pattern and color. So I picked that up and I didn't pay very much. This is very light. I probably paid like 25, 50 cents for that. And then I found this new with tags little faux leather skirt from H&M. It was originally $24.99 and then they had it on sale for $10. And it is a size eight. But it's just this little like faux leather skirt. It has buttons going up the front. I picked this up to basically take to a buy sell trade location. I think that they will take it. That's my guess. I don't think I could really get too much for it from a regular store but for taking directly there maybe making a few bucks I thought it'd be worth it especially since I paid maybe 25 cents to 50 cents for that piece and then I picked up this cool number this is a brand I had never heard of but I looked it up while I was in the store but this is by the brand Sergio Viducci and it is this really cool leather jacket, leather coat. So there is the brand, but it is this kind of, it's this leather jacket, leather coat, and then it has this lining on the inside of like a faux fur, but this is 100% genuine leather. So I picked this up. I thought that it was super cool. It does have belt loops going around the outside for some sort of belt attachment. Definitely did not find that in the bins, but I still picked it up. It is a little heavier. It was kind of more of a gamble on this item because I paid probably three or four dollars for it. But the comps looked good for this, so I will put those up on the screen for you. But I just thought it was a super cool piece. And for genuine leather, you just can't go wrong sometimes. So now we have four more pieces. We're almost there. I found this really, really pretty dress. I found this for myself. Hopefully it fits. But this is by the brand SL Fashions Petite lol i didn't know it was petite i am not petite um but this is a size 14 petite but it's this really beautiful little black dress with these tiered ruffles on the skirt i love tiering i love ruffles it's very me so i thought i would try this on we'll see it looks like it might be vintage so if it doesn't fit i will resell it but i thought it was really cute with the little thin straps kind of more of like a straight across neckline and then just like all of the fun flowiness of the skirt I thought was really cute. So I picked that up for myself, but we'll see if it stays with me or if I resell it. And then I have three more pieces and you guys always know I try to save a really good piece for the end. I have two really good pieces, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna show you very last, but I also found this pair of high top Converse. So I think actually Jason, my little brother, found these for me. I just thought these were a super cool print. I like the tropical print. They're in good condition. They're always missing their shoelaces when I find Converse at the bins. But sometimes I pick them up anyway and they do sell. This is in a men's seven or a women's nine. So I thought these were a super cool piece. I kind of dig them. I think that they will probably sell well. And they are Converse All-Star. That's super cool. They're in great condition. I picked those up for maybe a dollar a piece, so maybe two dollars. And hopefully we can make a good profit on those. So this next piece that I found is this pair. I'm gonna butcher this, but it's by the brand Salvatore Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Now, I did not know this brand when I picked these up. I just thought they were a really cute little vintage pair of heels. But then I got home and I looked up this brand and these are like a designer pair of shoes. So I'm very excited that I picked these up. I maybe paid like a dollar for these. 
and these are authentic they were made in Italy they're from Florence they are in a little bit of rough shape there is a little bit of wear at the toes but even so I do think that I can probably resell these for a good amount I love the shape of the heel and I was on the fence about getting these until I looked at the bottom here and then I was like oh that looks so nice there how they wrote the actual brand name and then again since it says made in Italy I was like okay it might be worth a try but if you guys ever see these in the thrift store make sure you pick them up that's what the brand looks like on the inside of the shoe. It's in metallic gold. And then it says Farajamo is the big thing. I am sure I'm butchering it. If I am wrong, you can totally correct me down below. But I just thought these were super cool. It also says Farajamo, Faragamo on this little nice little gold detail right there and these are in a size eight and a half so i thought these were super duper sweet i am very excited that i did pick these up i i picked them up based on just like how nice they looked even though they weren't in the best of condition and i'm very happy that i still picked these up i'll put the comments up on the screen but i'm hoping i'm hoping for a good amount on those <laughs> and then the very last thing that i picked up is this amazing coat from neiman marcus i could not believe i found neiman marcus in the bins and i was even more excited this does fit me and i'm very tempted to keep it but also it'll depend on the comps but this is an amazing men's coat it's almost like a chore jacket and it's in this really nice buffalo check and it's a blue color i love this thing and we've got a nice lining on the inside kind of like this upturned leather on the inside of on the collar as well i just think it's super duper nice i love the little buttons going down the front i think it's a very nice piece we also have buttons at the cuff of the sleeves so this is a men's extra large but i cannot believe i found this it is so nice here i'll try it on for you guys so that is it for today's haul and come thrift with me i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and seeing the things that i was picking up in the bins i freaking adore the pieces that i picked up so let me know down below what piece was your favorite mine was probably the neiman marcus co i think that that is so cool i'm very very jazzed that you guys joined me here today Thank you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. But I am so grateful to have you guys here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.